Dice Games. Hey guys, Matt here with a little guide for using all the champion abilities in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And these abilities are basically what you get from defeating each of the Divine Beasts. There's four Divine Beasts, so you get four abilities. And I'm just gonna give you a little advice on how to use each one. So the first one here is Mipha's Grace, which you get from the Elephant Beast, which is Varuda. And this one's pretty self-explanatory, you just... You get one use, and when you die, it revives you. So there you go, that guy stepped on me, brings me back completely with five extra hearts. And you get one use, like I said, and you have a 30 minute cooldown to use it. And this next ability is Ravali's Gale, which you get from Va Meadow, the bird divine beast. And basically you hold X until you light up like that and let go, and you get an updraft. And it makes it easier to fly places, fly higher, you don't have to climb as much. So it's pretty convenient, it's a basically used for a time saver, that's about it. So yeah, you can use it here, go up higher, rather than climbing that entire cliff, you can just fly right up to the top. One thing you can use it for though is to, when you're battling someone, give yourself an updraft and pull off a little slow-mo bow shot. Of course that guy disappeared, so we gotta wait for him to come back. There we go. Now do the slow-mo, and yeah. Makes it pretty easy. And one trick you can use it for is to get up on top of labyrinths. Makes it a lot easier. You could just go through the labyrinth or you could fly up on top and jump across the top. Skip over all the maze parts. And this ability you get three uses and it has a six minute cooldown. And one thing I recommend with the abilities that have multiple uses is when you're not using them, clear them all out, use them up, because the cooldown does not start until you use them all up. And then there's Urbosa's Fury, which you get from Va Nuboris, the Camel Divine Beast. And this basically, you hold the attack button until you charge up like that, let go, and you unleash a basically a dome of electricity. Which is pretty nice, you get all the people in the area. Just completely shock them, destroy most of them. Use it again. Got him. And it actually, you can even take on these giant guys the stone talus and charge it up, let go, destroy him in one hit. So it's pretty good. Now let's try using it on a guardian, see what that does there. Charge it up and didn't quite one shot him like a t stone talus but does a pretty good amount. Can use it one more time and takes him down pretty far. Now you just gotta finish them off. So yeah, that ability makes it pretty easy to kill these guys. Oh, my sword broke. Switch to the Master Sword, why not? And this ability, just like the Ravali's Gale, you get three uses and then it has a 12 minute cooldown. So that's not too bad. And finally we have Daruk's Protection, which is from Varudania, the Lizard. And what you do is you hold ZL, the targeting button, and it'll give you a little barrier, and you hold the barrier up, and any attack that's used on you, it'll completely block the damage. So, I mean, I went flying there, but as you can see, I didn't take any damage from it. And, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Any amount of damage it'll, that'll be done to you, it'll block it. And the Gorn comes out, blocks the attack for you. So let's try using it on this decayed guardian over here. Gotta get his attention. Okay, now he's looking at us. Hold the barrier, ZL, and completely destroys him in one hit. So that's pretty good, because it basically deflects his shot back at him. But it doesn't quite do as much against the walking guardians. They have a decent amount more armor, so let's see. Deflect his shot. Uh, did a decent amount, but it's gonna take a few more. You have one more, and with this one you get three, you have an 18 minute cooldown. And there you go, finish him off in three deflections. And there you have it. These...